Welcome to Rap for Jesus Success Show. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three characteristics of a real man. One, you as a man, you are the spiritual father of your home. That is to say, in the realm of the spirit, your level of intimacy with God must be very strong. It must be very tight. If you are the type that is not prayerful before, please make sure that you are praying. You must pray for your family. And if you are not close to God, please make sure you are close to God. If you are married or you are not married now, if you are the type that is desperate uh, about getting married now, please have this mentality within you that you ought to become a spiritual man before you get married so that your family will, will not be at stake, so that your family will not be stagnant, so that your marital life will not experience chaos on a daily basis, so that there will be no confusion in your midst. Because uh, if God is not involved in some certain things, those things they are always in balance. So for your family to be at equilibrium level, you must have this mentality within you that you ought to become a spiritual man. Yes, for peace to reign. Because the Holy Spirit helpeth our infinity, the Holy Spirit strengthens our mortal body, and there are some certain knowledge you need there for you to grow in your marital life. And if you are not having them, you will, you will always experience downfall in your marital life. So I advise you as a man, you must be spiritual in the course of living. And the character number two, I'm going to talk about you becoming a real husband of your home. Husband is just not, it's not just a matter of saying I'm a husband, I'm a husband. No. Or you just put on ring. No. Husband, they respond to issues at home. All, husband, they are always diligent. They are always sensitive. They are always concentrated in their marital life, in their family. So you must always be very careful. When things happen in your family, don't react to issues. You have to respond. You have to think twice. When something comes up, you have to think before you take any action so that you will not uh, invoke uh, damage uh, upon your family. So please, I advise you as a man, before you can become a real husband, you must have a plain mindset. You must always be truthful and faithful to yourself and your God so that the Holy Spirit will give you the real knowledge that you needed in order for you to become a real husband. Character number three, I'm going to talk about uh, you becoming a real father. You know what's in about becoming a father? Father is not just my of saying I'm a father. If you are a father and you're not a man to anything, you're not worth calling a father, you are a boyfriend. Take it or leave it. I must tell you the real fact. If you know you are a husband, um, I mean, if you know you are a father of your home, you must be amounting to something. That is to say, you must have something doing on a daily basis because your family will be demanding from you. Even the family of your spouse, they will be demanding for you. Your illness, they will be relying on you. So just know that you are a reliable someone already now. So you must be amounting to something. Uh, for you to become a real father. If you know you are not doing anything now and you are the time desperate about getting married, please go and look for something and do it. Sign work out there and learn training. If you want to go to, go to school, be up to something in the standard of living so that people will, will not look down on you, so that people will not look down on your family. So please, before you, before you can become a father, you must have this quality within you. Thanks for listening and Please make sure that you put all this information that you heard from me into action and I believe that the Holy Spirit will see you through in all your dealings and all of us. Love you.